Hello and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe and today we actually have a lot to discuss. We have Travis Kelsey not answering and then also answering questions about Taylor Swift during his Chiefs press conference earlier this week. We have Taylor Swift out and about in London for the first time in what feels like forever. We have Taylor's 100th show coming up and also we have an answer as to whether or not she is going to be in the new Deadpool movie coming out so much to get into. Let's first start off with the Travis Kelsey press conference because it has been a while since Travis has been directly asked about Taylor Swift. Um, it's been a while since he's actually like talked about Taylor Swift in general. Again, they've both been super busy. She's obviously on tour. He's had a bunch of work commitments. He has training camp right now, or it's not exactly training camp, but a mini camp with the Chiefs. So he's back in Kansas City. It's just been a bit a busy, uh, kind of chaotic time for the both of them, I'm sure. But during his press conference earlier this week, a journalist asked Travis what he likes to cook with Taylor Swift. This was the exact question. There's a YouTube short of you cooking with your significant other. And I just kind of want to know what you like cooking together, a reporter asked. And I'm going to get back to the question in a little bit. This is how Travis answered. That's a good question. I respect that question, but I'm going to keep that one to myself because I thoroughly enjoy cooking with her. So it's something I'd rather just keep personal. First of all, love the response to Travis because he didn't embarrass the reporter or make the reporter feel badly for asking the question, which I think was nice of him. But he also maintained kind of like set a boundary, I think. And I think he's starting those boundaries early before the season starts about like, hey, I'm not going to really be talking about Taylor Swift. So maybe stop asking. I also am like, this is a Chiefs press conference. Like they're in the Chiefs facilities doing their mini camp. And this is a reporter that's there because of the Chiefs asking Travis a question that has nothing to do with football. And I understand like, I don't know, entertainment tonight or people, or even like if you went on the Today Show, I understand them asking questions like this, but it seems a little strange for, again, someone who's there to cover the Chiefs trying to get this kind of like response from Travis. I don't know. It just felt a little bit, maybe inappropriate, it's too strong of a word, but it's just like, this isn't really the time or the place. Like he's at his place of work to talk about football. It's not really the place where he's going to be sharing like personal details about his relationship. I don't know. I just, it felt a little strange to me. However, Travis being like the nice guy he is. And I also, I think like, again, not wanting to like make somebody feel badly and maybe just because he wanted to share it. When, when they were kind of like wrapping up, he did answer the question and he said, Taylor makes a great pop tart and cinnamon roll, which we all know because Travis or Taylor famously made pop tarts for the chief's offensive line. And she may have also made cinnamon rolls for people too. Um, so we, we know that Taylor is a great baker and, um, nice that Travis, you know, shared that kind of detail though. He didn't have to, um, so yeah, I don't know. Do you guys think it's weird that Travis was asked that question? Like, is it a little bit too much? I don't know. It just made me feel kind of weird again, especially because he was like at the press conference to talk about his football season. Anyway, speaking of Taylor, she was spotted out and about in London. She's on this little break before she picks back up her show again tomorrow in Liverpool. We'll get to that in just a second. Um, but again, it's been a while. We saw a photo of Taylor and Cara Delevingne last week, um, like backstage for Cara Delevingne's cabaret show. But it's been a while since we've had like a Taylor Swift paparazzi moment out with her friends. And she was spotted going to dinner with a bunch of people, uh, including Kate Moss, Cara Delevingne, Stella McCartney, Phoebe Waller-Bridge, um, SD Heim. I didn't see any of the other Heim sisters. I just saw SD, but maybe others were there. Andrew Scott from Fleabag, Lena Dunham. I'm sure there were other people there, but there was a big group of people that went to this dinner. Um, first of all, Taylor looked amazing. She looked so good. Her makeup looks great. Her outfit looks so good. I like loved everything about it. And she was wearing the clock choker necklace that she wore um, at the Grammys when she announced Torture Poets Department. So I don't know if there's something there. I don't know if there's a meaning behind that clock necklace, but it was like, oh, there's that thing. It's 
it's an Easter egg probably for something. Who knows? But it's it's nice to see Taylor out and about having fun with her friends. And I would like to know, I mean, I don't think she'll ever tell us necessarily, but being back in London and spending like a good chunk of time in London now that she's obviously in the UK touring, but then just like Europe for the summer in general. Um, I wonder if she likes being back in London, you know, since she wrote the song So Long London. I don't know. I wonder if she has different feelings about it. Um, okay. We now have some answers about whether or not Taylor Swift is going to be in the Deadpool and Wolverine movie. And according to Entertainment Weekly, she is not going to be in it. If you miss the rumors, they've been going on for a long time that Taylor was maybe going to be playing this character called Dazzler in this movie. And then there were reports that came out that said, no, 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 she's not going to be playing Dazzler. She's just going to be, be playing herself in the movie. Well, again, according to Entertainment Weekly, that's not happening. Taylor Swift is not in the movie. So if you're planning to go to this movie just to see Taylor Swift, she's not going to be in it. Um, maybe she'll be in some sort of superhero movie in the future. I kind of feel like she's pretty booked and busy for a while now, <laughs> but you never know. We She's definitely dabbled in movies and acting here and there. So I could see her getting back into it eventually down the road, but she's not going to be doing it anytime soon. Okay, and the final piece of news that I want to touch on um, is that it will be Taylor Swift's 100th Eras Tour show tomorrow in Liverpool. And there are a lot of fans that feel like there's going to be some sort of announcement, something that comes up for her 100th show. Now, it wouldn't shock me. It really wouldn't shock me if we maybe get a reputation announcement for the 100th show. I feel like last summer, Taylor Swift dropped Speak Now in July, and that was a big moment. And then she released 1989 a few months later. So I feel like it's kind of the trend for her to like drop these re-releases in like the summer fall timeframe. Even though she just released a brand new album, that's the only reason why I'd be like, oh, maybe she wouldn't drop a new album because she's just put out an album, but it's a re-release. It's not like a new, new album. So it's not, I don't know. I feel like maybe she's not as precious about it as obviously she would be about a newly released brand new album. I don't know. I just feel like there's a, there's a chance that there could be something that happens at the show tomorrow, some sort of celebration of some kind. Again, who knows? But we know Taylor loves to celebrate these types of things. And 100 is like a big milestone. So I don't know. Let me know if you guys think there's going to be some sort of celebration, announcement, surprise, something that happens for the 100th show. I would love to know your guys' thoughts about that. Um, and if she does announce reputation, when do we think it's going to come out? I kind of feel like, again, we're in mid-June right now. So it wouldn't surprise me if it was like late July, maybe early August or something that we got reputation. Um, if, if that's the album that she chooses to put out first, I guess it could be debut. Who knows? Anyway, that is that for today's show. Let me know all your thoughts on everything we covered and discussed here today. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, what are you waiting for? We're trying to get to that 4,000 subscriber number. So if you haven't subscribed, we'd really, really appreciate it. And if you haven't followed us on all of our social media platforms, make sure to do that as well. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.